If you're interested in building your own e-bike, I can tell you what you need to know. This is my first e-bike build. What's up, man? Here are the latest updates for my first e-bike build. This is the very first one I built. It's uh, had at least three different systems on it. The first one, um, I don't have any video, but the first one actually had the hub mode in the front on the fork um, as a test. Um, it pulled really good. Um, the only reason why I changed that is because um, I like to do wheelies and it's hard to do wheelies with a big hub motor in the front. Um, so I had switched it to the back so originally I had the 1000 watt hub motor in the front and I switched it to the 1000 hub motor in the rear and um, that was good um, but I felt that you know I got used to it um, I'll give an example you buy a motorcycle especially a small displacement and you feel like you need to upgrade that's the same situation here so I upgraded to a from a 1000 watt to a 3000 watt hub motor so I removed the 1000 watt from the rear and I placed the 3000 watt which came with an uh, external controller um, and in addition to that I got a bigger battery uh, which is the uh, 72 volt 20 amp hour I noticed this battery has a lot of power and uh, a lot of range uh, so the battery was built uh, from uh, light speed light speed cycles in Jersey. So uh, they built the battery for me. It took two weeks. I went and picked it up. I was very happy with it as a Bluetooth BMS, um, so I could turn the bike off and on from uh, from my phone, and also monitor the battery status, temperature, and everything. <laughs> so uh, I did that. Um, always had the rear rack to carry my bags and stuff because I bring a lot of stuff with me. Uh, also, being that this is my first uh, bike um, that I built, uh, another video I'll show you the, the fat tire one, which is the second build. Um, but in addition to that, um, I also added a horn. For those who don't know, it's a motorcycle horn because, uh, you know, they will try to run you over. So I got to wire it up to the switch here, which is uh, very loud. And they definitely hear me coming and they'll move out the way. And uh, while we're on the switch, uh, the red one I wired up for lights. Uh, so if you look, I have a front headlight. And uh, let me turn that on. So I got the high beam, well not high beam, but the high intensity LEDs, they're very bright. Uh, and I also wired up on the rear rack, two LED light strips as you can see. Even in the daylight, as bright as it is out here, you can still see it. So I got uh, got that wired up, and um, I'm going to build in another video. I'm already taking the measurements for my box. I'm going to build a uh, battery box, um, and I want to put two white LED strips at the bottom of the box. So I'm going to do that in another video. Um, but uh, yeah. So I also put down, um, I always heard about these grips, the Ergon grips. Um, I didn't realize how comfortable they are, especially people who ride long distances like I do. I ride very far. And I noticed I used to have a lot of wrist pain. Ever since I put these on, I don't have that pain anymore. These are very good. The only thing is um, I couldn't use no full throttle. So I'm using the thumb throttle, which is fine with me because I'm already used to that. So this combination with the Aragon grips very good um, I'm a very tall person 6'4 so I have the seat all the way up which is the uh, saddle royale seat very comfortable gel seat and also I had to put a stack on here um, I'll put some links in the description uh, but that's the uh, company there I did have one issue uh, one of the bolts was stripped well not the bolts but the uh, mount was stripped so I got I have to order actually I ordered another one should be here in a couple of days so I'm waiting for that to come in I'm gonna replace this with another one because you know I mean still holding but you know 
I would like both both to be tight. Um, and I added a. I removed a lot of stuff. I used to have a lot of stuff on here. I removed it. Uh, I got a shorter handlebar stem to hold my headlight. And I also purchased the uh, Maxxis hookworm tires. Uh, they're very good. I had an issue in the beginning, but I did uh, stuff some. Um, what is that thing called? Um, uh, not the slime. It's the. Uh, oh, I forgot what it's called. The 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 liner. It's the liner that you put in there to prevent um, punctures and stuff like that. So I got that in both tires. Haven't had no issues since. And uh, I got the uh, center kickstand, which is good. And I also put the uh, spoke. Uh, color spokes on there. So along with that, uh, it's a nice little set here. Um, put some red caps in there to match the little red in the brakes. Oh, speaking of the brakes, these brakes are hydraulic. Um, I tried these out once in a bicycle store and I got hooked really fast. Um, I got tired of adjusting my brakes, so I got hooked onto the uh, hydraulic. So I got hydraulic front and the back. Um, the way this frame is, I can only get a 140 rotor in the back, which is fine because it has enough power to stop. Uh, most of the stopping power is in the front, so I got the 203, which is the big boy, in the front. Um, it stops very well, have no issues. Um, you might come across when building e-bikes, especially with hub motors, is the spacing between the caliper and the, and the motor. It's very close, and even it rubbed if you can see the line here, it rubbed a little bit. So I had to file it down some more. You can file down the caliper. I've done that on, on a couple of bikes and I had no issues. Um, so you can file that down so you can get enough space there. Plus you can use little spaces to wiggle back and forth to get the perfect alignment. Um, I got one torque arm on here. Um, I ordered this from a purchaser on eBay. I'm trying to get him to send me another one so I can have two. Cause I have a lot of torque arms, but being that this is a 3,000 watt, it's a, it, uh, the axle is a little bigger and um, it doesn't fit. So this is the torque arm that came with the kit. Um, I would like to get another one. And um, other than that, um, the thing is pretty good. The first first build, I like it. You know, um, get some video. I can show you uh, how it launches from the start and I get you a, a, a flyby how fast this bike is, it's very fast. Um, the next thing I'll be doing in another video, I got a 50 teeth crank arm, crank set. Uh, I converted to single speed to reduce some cables and I don't really use all the gears anyway. Um, when I do wheelies, I don't pedal when I do the wheelies, so straight off a motor. Um, yeah, so I got this uh, Tame Tensioner, which I like very much, and I got a single speed, uh, but I did have to order a higher crank set. Um, this one here is a 52. I ordered a 53 because I really like to pedal when going fast, and um, that's what solved my problems because I like to pedal when going fast. And this one, once I get past 23 miles per hour, um, you know, I can't really keep up. So it's his motor from there. But I like the pedal, so I'll do a video. Once that comes, I'll change it out. And also, I'm changing it out because I took this off to check it, and I realized a lot of the um, teeth on it look like shark fins, so they're worn out, and some of them are actually filed down. So uh, I'm going to change that in another video. Once it gets here, it should get here by tomorrow. The chain, I ordered a, a new chain. New chain should be here today, and the crank set should be here tomorrow. I'll shoot a video, um, and that's about that. I'm thinking about changing the fork out too. Thinking about that with this bike, but we'll see what happens. Um, so this is the first version of my e-bike build. I'm starting a new channel called uh, E-Bike Life because I used to ride motorcycles, but now I'm heavy into this now. So. This is what I'm doing now, along with a bunch of other things. So stay tuned, I will have videos on different topics as far as builds, vlogs, and of course, wheelies. So um, that's about that.
Um, I'll get into um, showing the performance of this bike. 